Welcome to Flash Tutorial 83, Balloon Game 2 Players. It's a follow-up to Flash Tutorial Request 12, which was titled Inflate a Balloon, and that's the FLA I have opened on my computer now. And the first thing we're going to do is put some more action code in. So open your actions layer, and at the very top here, right now, all we have is this pump that pumps and inflates the balloon and the balloon gets bigger and bigger so now we want to make a limit to when we stop pumping so to do that we're going to create a variable and we're going to make that variable a random number so type 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 and here's what we have variable var turns purple and i'm calling this variable select MC S E L E C T M C capital S capital M capital C colon number capital N U M B E R that turns blue equals zero semicolon that's the variable that we're going to use and here's the function function F U N C T I O N turns purple get MC capital G capital M capital C open close bracket colon void void turns the same color as function and there's the open curly bracket for the function there's the close curly bracket for the function and when we call this function we're going to create a random number and that's done with this this format here in this random number we're going to create a variable var and it's called select ram as in select random number S-E-L-R-A-M, I got a capital S and a capital R, colon, number, N-U-M-B-E-R, capital N, equals math random. This is just going to generate a, a, a number for us. M-A-T-H, capital M, period, R-A-N-D-O-M, small r, that turns blue, as number turns blue. Open, close, bracket, semicolon. And here's that variable up here. We're going to turn that variable into that that number we we just generated. So select MC capital S capital M capital C equals math round. That's that number that's generated, and that's a number that's generated between zero and one. So math period round small m small r open bracket select ram. That's that variable. Select ram. That's the random number which is between 0 and 1. So we're going to multiply that in this case. So there's the asterisk. 120 plus 27, close bracket, semicolon. And the easiest way to look at this is, because I'm generating a number that's between 0 and 1, if it's at the 0 end and I multiply it by 120, I'll get 0. So the lowest number I can actually come up with for this select MC will be 27. If, on the other hand, the random number is a full 1, I'll create a 120 plus it. So the easiest way to look at it is the number that we're going to make this select MC equals to is the smallest it'll be is 27, and the highest it'll be is the sum of these, these two, which is 147. And we're going to do a trace, T-R-A-C-E, that turns blue, open bracket, select MC, close bracket, semicolon, so we can see the number, so we can see it in our output panel. There's the close curly bracket, which may have come up automatically. And this will only happen if we call a function. And here's where we call the function. Get MC, that's the same get MC up here. Open, close bracket, semicolon. So now, this is not connected in any way yet to our pump, but when we run this, we'll see a number generated in our output panel between 27 and 147, and this case was 53. So now what we gotta do is have it increment when we press this pump. I'm back inside my action script here, and down here in this function that's created by the pump movie clip, after we tell it to go and play the pump, which makes it go up and down, I wanna insert a line. So type, type, type this code. It's a trace, T-R-A-C-E, open bracket, ball underscore MC, that's the balloon movie clip, period width, 
and width should turn blue if it's spelt right, small w, close bracket, semicolon. So now each time we pump, let's test it, it generated a 52, that was the random number. And each time we press this, it increments, increments, increments. And there, what we want to do is when it gets bigger than 52, we want to tell a balloon that's a, the maximum size. So let's go back to the action code. At the very end of this code, after this last close curly bracket, put in this code, type, 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 type. It's a, an event listener. Stage, S-T-A-G-E, period, add event listener, small s, small a, capital E, capital L, that will all turn blue. Open bracket, event, capital E-V-E-N-T, period, this is all capitals. Enter, E-N-T-E-R, underscore frame, F-R-A-M-E, all capitals, it turns blue, comma, and I'm calling this function ent frame, E-N-T-F-R-A-M-E, capital E, capital F, close bracket, semicolon, and here's the function being called up. Function, F-U-N-C-T-I-O-N. Ent frame, that's the name we give it, at, capital E, capital F. Open bracket, small e, colon, event, capital E-V-E-N-T, turns blue, close bracket, colon, void, void turns the same color as function, and there's the open curly bracket for the function, there's a closed curly bracket for the function. And inside of those curly brackets, we're going to have an if statement, which is going to determine if we've reached the limits on the width of the balloon. So it says if turns purple, open bracket, ball underscore MC, that's that movie clip, the, the balloon movie clip, period width. So we're checking the width, that turns blue, small w, greater than equal sign greater than equal to select MC capital S capital MC close bracket so as we're pumping it the width is getting bigger and bigger and bigger we have a random number that we picked with this select MC and when that gets greater than or equal to that's when we're gonna do another trace here's the open bracket for this if and it says trace T-R-A-C-E turns blue open bracket Quotation, hit, quotation, turns green, close bracket, semicolon, and there's the close curly bracket for the if. Now let's give this a try. Okay, we went all the way to 127 this time, and each time we pump this, this gets bigger up here, gets bigger, the balloon getting bigger and getting lighter because it's getting more transparent, and we're getting closer to 127. And when we hit 127, it says hit. I'm back on the main scene. I'm locking all the layers, selecting the ball layer, insert a layer, and calling it change, C-H-A-N-G-E-B-T-N, as in change button. And selecting that frame one, I'm going to make a button right down here going to use the black for my stroke and red for my fill and want the oval tool and I'm making an oval here pretty good size highlight it modify convert it to a symbol make sure movie clip is selected and call it C H A N G E underscore M C copy that name right click copy it while it's highlighted open the properties panel and in here paste this as an instance name come back down here double click on that button lock that layer call it button btn that's the button insert a layer call it text t-e-x-t -E Pick up your text box. I think the text box is the fill, so let's make it blue. And right here, right, and that's way too big, so open the properties panel. Make sure static text is selected. 
and bring this way down to about 12 or something like that and write in here change C H A N G E click on your selection tool and drag that right in the center of that button go back to the main scene scene one lock all the layers open the actions select frame one of the actions layer open it up go up to the very top and put an enter so you have the second line in here type in this new variable type 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 it's a variable VAR it's called which player capital W-H-I-C-H capital P-L-A-Y-E-R colon number capital N-U-M-B-E-R turns blue equals minus one semicolon and this is how we're going to keep track of which player is whose turn it is let's go down the very bottom of this action script after these two closed curly brackets and type 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 this is the code for that button we just made so change underscore MC capital C that's that button period add event listener small a capital E capital L turns blue open bracket this is a mouse event capital M O U S E V E N T capital E period all capitals C L I C K that all turns blue comma and I'm calling this comp C O M P as in complete or the next one closed bracket semicolon and here's that comp function F U N C T I O N turns purple capital C O M P that's the name we gave it open bracket E V E N T small e turns blue colon most event capital M capital E turns blue close bracket colon void void turns purple there's the open curly bracket for this function there's the close curly bra bracket and that's the which player we just made way up here which we made a minus one when we made that variable so down here we're saying which player equals which player there's the asterisk which is the multiply minus one semicolon so every time we pre press that change button this will make that um, which player turn signs it'll be minus one then plus one minus one plus one each time we press it and to see and keep track of that we're going to trace that t-r-a-c-e turns blue open bracket which player you can just copy that and paste it close bracket semicolon and there's the close bracket for this function so let's take a look at that let's test this one it generates a number and we know if we press this pump that will increment it but let's watch every time I press this change button my there's one minus one one minus one and each time we press this we increment until we exceed that which is greater than the the variable from the random generator and we trace that hit so now let's incorporate that which player into this into this function up here so right here after this curly bracket type 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 and we have an if statement and it's saying if turns purple open bracket which player equals equals two equal signs one close bracket if that's true then here's the open bracket for this if statement I want to trace T-R-A-C-E open bracket quotation player one close quotation close bracket semicolon and I then also want this here this trace where it's comparing incorporated in this and I need another close curly bracket for this one right here which we can stick right here I believe so at the end we have three curly brackets there let's at the same time make this a hit one so it has to do with player one now I want to format this for a minute and I want to copy this information here right click copy it 
and that should go right in right here after this so you have these two curly brackets then we're going to paste that in here paste and instead of being which player equals equals one it's going to be which player equals equals minus one so we're going to put a minus one here and we're going to that make this player two so far so good and now I want to incorporate this into this second player so from here up to there see that right click copy that come down here right there paste it where this says hit one let's make this a hit two and I think I need to put one more closed curly bracket here and I'm gonna format that no errors and let's just check out that to see if the button now goes back and forth it's on player two now player one player two player one player two so to make that have some common sense I think if we make this a one let's see this for a minute test movie test player one player two player one player two make sure all the layers are locked select the change layer here insert a layer call it player P L A Y E R select that first frame and down here somewhere pick up your text tool I'm going to keep the blue and I'm going to write here P L A Y E R space one I'm going to pick up my selection tool it's highlighted modify convert it to a symbol make sure movie clip is selected p l a y e r underscore m c copy that name open the properties panel paste that in for an instance name now double click on that to get inside that movie clip insert a keyframe on frame two insert keyframe and changes from player one to player two now we may have to play around with this back to scene one let's open the actions panel again and right here where we have this stage event listener uh, where we're talking about player one right after the trace let's type in this type 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 that's that movie clip we just made player underscore MC capital P period go to and stop small G small T capital A capital S that'll turn blue open bracket one close bracket semicolon so it'll say player one copy that go down to where it's players two spot right after this trace paste this in and make this a two so now let's test this out and we should have that player keeping track for us down here right here it's player one player two player one player two let's go back to the main timeline make sure all the layers are locked select the player layer insert a layer and call this win w i n select frame one open up the library panel down here in the corner new symbol and call this win w i n underscore m c and we have a new symbol call this red r e d
and let's go here and let's just select that first frame open this click on their fill make it red let's get a rectangle and there's red go back to scene one select this first frame here of this layer let's make this about 50 percent open the library panel and there's this wind drag that on the screen and let's just use our free transform tool and just make it so it covers everything on the stage double click on it and we're back inside of the movie clip lock that layer insert another layer call it text T E X T select frame one pick up the text tool let's go with blue for our text again and let's type in here game G A M E over O V E R P L A Y E R player two wins. Okay, there it is there. And we'll just center that a little bit. Insert a keyframe here and change this to player one insert a keyframe here so my red is there lock them layers insert a layer select frame one call it action script as open the actions panel and stop s t o p open close semicolon Let's go back to scene one so we can put this movie clip on our stage. Select frame one of this win layer. Open the library panel and drag this on the stage. And make sure the free transform tool is selected and make that cover the stage. You may not have to adjust the size of your red square but in making the video, I did some adjustments, so I have to readjust the size of my red square. That's pretty good. Go back to double click on it, so we're back inside of this movie clip now. And come up here, highlight those four, get that fuzzy square, drag them over one and I think we're in business. Back to scene one. Pick up your selection tool. You should have some kind of a circle here. That's the movie clip. Highlight it. Open the properties panel and type in an instance name. And the instance name is W-I-N underscore M-C. Open the actions panel and let's get rid of some of these traces and the ones I want to get rid of I want to keep this one but I want to I want to keep the ball with but I don't need to see these players so let's forward slash forward slash I don't want to see that and I don't want to see this forward slash forward slash now let's deal with getting to those that last movie clip and right in this ad event listener where we're checking the ball size where it says trace hit one right after that type in this type 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 win underscore MC capital W period go to and stop small G small T capital A capital S open bracket to close bracket semicolon so that's going to send us to tell the other player to to win and let's copy this right click copy 
take this down to the next player here right here after this traced for hit two paste it in and send it to frame three let's test this out no errors it's up to 113 so let's leave it on player one for a while and pump it till we get up to around 100 or something pump pumping it pumping it pumping it pumping it and let's make player two see it changed to once now it's player two and player two goes over so it says game over player one wins because player two didn't stop in time let's do it again with the other player it's got to go to 140 so we'll let player one pump a couple pumps let's change it to player two he does a few he changes it back and makes one pump and now we're getting very close finally we get to the point where it's going to exceed and says game over player two wins so all you need to do is get rid of those traces and I think you have yourself a good game I hope you learned something from this tutorial and I hope you use what you learned